This question comes to us via text from Erica, and it says, My husband is the only one working and provides our only income. He doesn't know about tithing and doesn't get to go to church with me to learn because of his job. How do I tithe correctly to God without my own income? Well, Erica, we thank you for that question when it comes to tithing. Dr. Groeschel, I'm going to start with you. We get a lot of questions about tithing, but this is the first time I've heard this, where there's someone who wants to tithe, doesn't necessarily get their own income, but they're married. Bible says they're one. So what does the Bible else say about that when the spouse is not going to church? Yeah, that's a very interesting way of articulating the situation, right? Because it seems to us that in this person's heart, they have already accepted and acknowledged God as their creator, their king, and uh, the one who has everything, has created everything. So he does not need tithe per se, but she has accepted to acknowledge him as the creator. But now, I don't have any income. What can I do? So first and foremost, let's just do away and debunk a little bit of our mysticisms in relation to Deuteron to uh, tithing in Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 14. I want to share with you this text. Indeed, heaven and the highest heavens belong to the Lord your God. Also, the earth with all that is in it. In Haggai chapter 2, verse 8, he would... Uh, Bill on that thought that God is Lord over everything by saying that silver is mine, gold is mine. He is the Lord of hosts. He does not necessarily need anything from us. We need the assurance uh, by acknowledging him as our Lord and our Savior, right? What can I do? What can I give if I have no income? First and foremost, in Deuteronomy, still chapter 16, verse 17, when God was sharing with his people about the festivals, about coming to him, to meet with him, as we serve a God who loves to be near, mm. he would share the following, every man, every person shall give as he is able, according to the blessing of the Lord your God, which he has given you, according to what you are able to do. If you have no income, you are not able to share and to provide. But then we extend that to a second portion of the question. You are faithful and you want your family to realize God's goodness and to acknowledge God as your creator as a family. I would pray and ask the Holy Spirit to guide me, to give me wisdom so that I can understand how I could approach my husband. Yeah. and share a conversation with him in all honesty and sincerity from a heart of love. I want to acknowledge as a family that God is Lord over us. I would pray and I would point you in the direction of reflecting on that and asking the Holy Spirit to guide you towards having that conversation with your husband as you all as a family acknowledge God as your creator and your king mm -hmm. because all belongs to him. Oh, thank you, Dr. Groeschel, for, for laying that out here when it comes to tithing, and specifically the heart of our viewer here who wants to be able to give uh, and wants her family to be able to be part of this blessing as well. Dr. Hanna, I want to turn to you now. Um, what else can we add to this question of our viewer who's wondering about tithing? Dr. Groeschel laid a great foundation to this question. So what else does the Bible say? Yes, the answer that Dr. Groeschel gave is quite complete. I'd just like to support it by sharing another encouraging text written by the Apostle Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 8. Paul says, If there is first a willing mind, it is accepted according to what one has and not according to what he doesn't have. Mm. And so as Dr. Groeschel says, God does not expect us to be able to pay a tithe on our income if we have not received an income. But isn't it wonderful? that if we have a heart that is generous, and if we are willing to give to God, God counts that as if we had given already. I'd like to suggest also that persons in this situation, while they may not have a large income, they might find that they do have some income if they examine themselves. It might be small, it might be a personal allowance, but one can make a covenant with God to tithe on the little that you have. I'm reminded of the story of Jesus in the temple yeah. who saw the widow casting in only two mites. That would be like two pennies in today's terminology. And Jesus said, she has given more than all the other rich donors. 
because she has given out of her self-sacrifice. So even the little that we have, we can uh, sacrificially give to God, and he counts it as if it's a big gift because of the generosity of our hearts. Hmm. Thank you so much, Dr. Hannah. You know, Rebecca, I'm just reminded of how God looks at our heart and he looks at that willing spirit, just like Dr. Hannah said, and, and how hopefully our viewer can see it's about the heart and wanting right. to have God's blessing. And so hopefully they continue that way. She continues praying. I know we're praying for her. So thank you so much, both Dr. Hannah and Dr. Rochelle, for, for laying that question, that answer to that question.